Welcome to Man. Victorious in our main event, Jared Cannonier. Uh, you spoiled the home crowd here tonight. They got real quiet real fast, but how good did that victory feel? Every victory feels good. The, uh, this one tonight definitely felt good. Um, I was happy the crowd gave me a chance to speak after the fact, so uh, I feel great. You know, a lot of fighters talk about getting better, and they say, I'm getting better and better. I was in Brazil. I saw the crowd response, and I saw you evolve. You were extremely sharp. Your head motion was crazy. You were checking the leg kick. A lot of people on this car was not checking that calf kick. That calf kick was tearing people up this car. Yeah. How did you go into this fight, game plan-wise, to go out and take out Hermanson, who had finished so many people with submissions, with KOs. He looks to be a little bit larger than most middleweights, and he has a lot of pressure. How did you actually game plan to prepare for that type of foul? fight? Uh, the biggest part of our game plan in this camp was to not get taken down. Um, I think I showed that, uh, that improvement. Um, but other than that, just do my thing. You know, I feel like I was a superior striker. And I knew I was going to make Jack miss a few times. He caught me a few times with that jab, as you can see here. But uh, I started slipping, and I started ripping on him. Um, I started landing a few kicks on my own, checking his kicks to uh, deter him, taking the steam out of his cells, and eventually getting the finish. I saw you find yourself. You took a deep breath. You composed yourself, and you started to go on tactics. You cut him off. You started chopping with leg kicks, and I feel like you found a weakness. Did you find that the inside and outside leg kick was a way to slow him down? Well, I know Jack moves around a lot. And it was going to be my same plan like I employed against Anderson. He moves around a lot early on as well. So I wanted to work the leg kicks and then open up with the hands once he started to settle down. So that was the plan. Um, yeah, just find the leg kicks and then open up to the hands as soon as he settled down. Um, I know Jack Jack is a, a, a really tough fighter. He brings it every time, as we saw. He's not afraid of anything or anyone in there. And um, I was just just happy to... Uh, to receive that energy, you know? Um, I love it. Um, I love it when a guy brings it to you, brings it to me, you know? I think it brings out the best in me. I definitely elevated myself in that moment to uh, get the victory. Really respectful, eloquent speech after the fight. You even mentioned the fact that Jack being ranked number five, uh, you know, had a lot of risk in accepting a fight with you, ranked number nine. But what gave you the belief that you could beat number five and, you know, maybe only be one fight away from a title shot now? Well, I just believe in myself, you know? Um, on top of that, the training, you know, uh, the training we do at the MMA lab get, has uh, exploded my head. You know, I've got a big head. I don't run around talking crap in, or anything like that, but I have all the confidence in the world in my team and my training and, as well as in myself. So uh, I know I can overcome anything, and with the proper training, I can definitely overcome anybody in the octagon. It was obvious that he was going to go for the takedown. We all knew that yep. game plan-wise. He loves to be in the back position or the top position going for a ground and pound or rear neck choke. Did you see in his face, in his aura, when you stuffed a few takedowns, did it look like it discouraged him? And did that cause you to step forward for more offense? I didn't really perceive any discouragement out of him. I wasn't really paying attention to how he was feeling at that moment. I was just focusing on attacking this shell in front of me, you know? He, at that moment, he wasn't Jack. You know, he wasn't, you know, he didn't have an identity, uh, identity at that moment. It's just, I'm just breaking the body. That's all I have to do is break the body, get the win. Um, <clears throat> The coaches noticed that. that the, uh, the coaches definitely noticed that for sure. And I heard them uh, mention it. He's slowing down. He's, you know, he's folding or I can't remember what they said. But um, I noticed as far as movement goes, I know when he's going away from me. So I just want to start cutting off the cage and uh, let my presence, you know, as I say, um, I'm, the cage is going to get smaller and smaller and I'm going to get bigger and bigger until he has nowhere else to go. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> listen, it is a really interesting division right now. Um, we have a title fight coming up soon. Do you have some names in mind for who you want next? Nope, it doesn't matter who. Um, I don't really, I don't like picking no. fights. Well, here's the rankings. I mean, maybe will you at least ask for a fight on home soil? You keep traveling the world. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, next fight should definitely be either in <laughs> Vegas or Dallas, Texas. Um, you know, anywhere in the U.S., you know, yeah, I'd be Weidman's fighting fight. in a few weeks. Yeah, Weidman's he's actually fighting uh, Reyes, yeah, light heavyweight. Exactly. So he's going up. Right. Weidman's going up. Jacques Ray's coming up. Jacques Ray's fighting. So that John leaves who, who in front of me? Well, um, let's, let's assume you switch with Hermanson. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's true. Let's assume yeah, you Gasolin is already uh, scheduled for a fight. The only two people who aren't scheduled right now is Romero and Costa. But I'm not going to call them out. I'd rather call out the champion. You know, ain't no point in calling out. Anybody except for the one who holds the belt. All right. Okay. Well, we do have that title fight coming up. So who do you like in it, Adesanya or Whitaker? I like both. You know, I don't pick fights. I hate picking fights. Those are two great fighters. Um, so, um, 
<laughs> I'm not going to pick any fight in that fight, but I will be watching it with a uh, with three eyes open. I have to ask you, object you're holding your hand, What's, what is it symbolic of? This is a uh, piece of pyrite, mm -hmm. right? And it has uh, all types of, uh, I feel it has metaphysical properties. And uh, some of the properties that I like to uh, draw from it are the negation of bad energy, bad, uh, negative uh, Let me energy. hold that right quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're getting your hook if on. If I can punch like you were hitting him today and I can get rid of some bad energy, let me get six of those. Oh, yeah, get yourself some pyrite, my man. All right. I wear it. I, I, I walk with it, you know. I, I've been getting into a lot of energy work, working with uh, stones of the earth, mm -hmm. you know. You got um, that crystal on your neck as well. Exactly. It's a selenite. And uh, <clears throat> just uh, expanding my horizons, got it. you know. The chalice, though, that's that doesn't have any special powers. Just maybe something special inside. No, this is a homage <laughs> to the Scandinavian culture. I know those guys are uh, a bunch of animals, and they love to drink out of the horns and you know the skins of their kills. So uh, I brought myself a horn. I know it's medieval times, and it's not really Scandinavian. You got you a better response in Brazil. I'll tell you that much. Oh yes, it they did. Were, they, you got new fans now. Yeah, mm -hmm. man, those guys were awesome, man. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I was uh, happy to see that they were cheering. They was happy to have a good, uh, con happy to see a good contest. And they were just appreciative of that. Do you have any extra time here in the uh, beautiful country of Denmark? You going nope. to help? I fly out in like <laughs> ten hours. I like hours. you. You straight to the point. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, listen, Jared, you came into enemy territory once again, got the job done. So uh, people just really should start getting used to it. I told you what I said that just because you may not have noticed that Jared has been here hasn't mean he hasn't been putting in that work and really doing great things. So congratulations to you, and just keep on rising. Thank Congrats. you. Congrats, Will. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and special content, subscribe to ESPN+.